So last time I finished setting up ZFS on the server, having got the boot drives done. So today this is gonna to be a super quick video. All I'm gonna do is set up two more Z pools. One is gonna be my high eye up storage, which is going to be all the NVMe drives. And the second one is going to be my lower IOPS storage, which is gonna be the SATA SSDs. So really quick, just gonna set this up and then I should be good to actually set all my VMs up. Let's go. Okay, so it should be really easy this time. First of all, we just need to find out which disks we're gonna put in our Z pool. Now I'm creating two Z pools. One is going to be for the NVMe storage and one is gonna be for the SATA storage. So let's have a look at which our disks are first. So lsal in slash dev slash disk slash by dash ID. Uh, we can see we've got these four Samsung ones here, which I'm going to write down, and we've got these uh, crucial one terabyte ones. Now I know that I've already used these ATA Western Digital 120 gigs, so of the three types of disk I've got, I've got four of each of the others. So I'm going to write these down, but this one looks like for some reason it's already got a partition, even though it wasn't done by me. So the first thing I'm going to do is just clear all the disks, which is always a good thing for good measure. So I've got G-Disk installed. You can get that yourself with apt install G-Disk if you want. But all I'm going to do is do a zap all on each of the disks. And that will then just clear all of the disks for me. So I'm ready to put them into my Z pools. Great. Next thing we want to do is create my SSD NVMe one. So it's just Z pool create dash F, uh, which is basically because we're using fresh disks. The name of it, SSD NVMe and RAID Z is the type we want, then just a space separated list of disks. And then I'm probably gonna do the same thing again, but this time using all my SATA disks, and this one's called SSD SATA. Now we just wanna check the status of all my Z pools. So we've got SSD SATA online with four disks. We've got SSD NVMe online with the four disks, and we've got my root and boot pools online as mirrors with two as well. Now with Ubuntu, it automatically mounts it as well. So we can see we've got SSD NVMe is mounted on slash SSD NVMe and SSD SATA is on slash SSD SATA. It is possible if you want to, to specify a different path that you want to have stuff mounted to, but I'm quite happy to go with those for being the default ones. So for me, that's everything done. And we've now got ZFS all set up and running. So there we are, that was nice and simple. We've got all of the Z pool set up now, so three parts to this video. The first one we dealt with kind of setting up the server and the physical hardware. Then we got ZFS on Linux root working. And now we've set up my two different Z pools that I'm gonna be using for virtual machines. In a separate video in the future, I'm gonna cover how to set up KVM, configure that, deal with networking. But right now I've got a server that's been down for the whole day and I really need to get it online. So that's gonna be my next step. Hopefully you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can also get to me on Twitter at GuyRobotTV where I'll happily tweet you back. And if you've got any other ideas for videos, please leave a comment down below and I would love to hear from you. Thanks.